Hi everybody! It's me again, Mrs. TK, with another message for you from God's Word, the Bible. Today we are worshiping God because we can count on Him. What does it mean when we say we can count on someone? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not what it means. It doesn't mean you literally count on them. To count on someone means that you can trust them to do what they say they'll do. That you have a person that will keep their promises. That's what it means to be trustworthy, to keep your promises. Well, the Bible tells us that God is completely trustworthy. One of the ways that God shows his trustworthiness is by keeping his word, keeping his promises. Listen to what it says in the book of Psalms. It says, The Lord is faithful to all his promises. I like that. Faithful to all his promises and loving toward all he has made. God made us. He is loving to us, and he keeps his promises. That means that we can trust God because he will be faithful. God was certainly faithful to the man I talked about last time, a man named Noah. He's written about in here. Last time I told you about how God wanted Noah to build a great, well, okay, I'm going to tell you the rest of it today. So I brought this bag to help me, this cloth bag, because I sometimes forget parts of it. <laughs> so I have this to help me so I don't make any mistakes. Okay, last week I talked about how God told a man named Noah, a faithful man who loved God, that he should build a, okay, it was brown, brown made of wood, it was, oh, an ark right? A great big boat, remember? Yes, that's why the bag is so helpful. This is brown like the brown wood of Noah's Ark. <laughs> and um, and it, he worked very hard and he had his sons helping out too. His family worked long, long, long and hard to build a huge, huge boat called an ark. And once he was finished, something happened. Let, let me turn the bag inside out. Maybe that'll remind me. <laughs> It was, um, oh, look at this. Do you see what's on here? Animals. That's right, because after the boat was finished, animals came. God sent two of every kind of animals, a male and a female, to come to the ark. Why, there were dogs and frogs. There were cats and bats. There were lynx and minks. There were fox and crocs. There were hippopotamuses and whatever rhymes with hippopotamuses. Anyway, lots of animals. Two of every kind. Male and female. Oh, and some extra ones of animals that are suitable for the sacrifice. That's kind of complicated, but it's hard to be a cheerful giver when you only have two sheep. But yes, there were a few extras. Two of every kind, though. That was the important thing. And once the animals were on the boat, everybody else got on. It was Noah and his wife and his sons, three of them, and their wives, Ham, Shem, and Japheth, and Noah, plus the women they were married to. Sadly, the whole population of the world was about to come down to eight people, and we only know four of their names. I like to think Mrs. Noah was called Patience. She had to have a lot of patience. She was going on a great big long cruise with her daughters-in-law. It was going to be t tense, let me tell you. Anyway, um, so the animals were on the boat, and the people, Noah's family, were on the boat, and then God shut the door. Because something was about to happen. Uh, what was it again? It was... Okay, let me flip the bag back to the other side. It was brown on the other side, right? Let me just switch back to the... Wait a minute, that's not brown, that's blue. Oh, because of the water! This blue is to remind me of the water. Yes, once God had shut the door to the ark, the rains started to come down and floods 
actually came up from the earth. The water came down, 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 and up, 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 until the ark was floating. And all of the wicked people in the world who were hurting each other and didn't love God, they were not going to be surviving and on the boat. But the boat floated along on that water. It was a long time. I know it only rained for about a month, 40 days, 40 nights, but the boat had to float for like a whole year after that. Boy, I hope Noah had like a clothespin for his nose because I bet the animals got a little stinky. Just a guess. Anyway, um, after they had floated for about a whole year, um, something happened. Oh, there was a bird. Noah sent a bird out. And unfortunately, the bird came back. He had to do this a couple of times. And then finally, he knew it was almost time to get off the boat because the bird brought something. Um, let, me, let me check the bag. It w Wait, I thought there were animals on the other side. Because on the other side, the inside, there's plants. Oh, that's right, because that's what the bird brought back. A branch. A branch from a tree. That meant the trees were sticking out, and that meant that the water was down low enough that it would soon be time for them to get off that ark. Oh, and you know they were grateful to do that. They got off the ark, and Noah wanted to thank God for the wonderful gift that he had given him. Life and safety through this whole massive worldwide flood. And so the first thing Noah did was he made an altar and he prayed and praised God for helping him and his family. And God put something in the sky that was, oh, what was that again? It was a, a green bow, like, like a bow, a bow tie. No, that can't be right. It was a, he put something in the sky, a train blow, a train blow, woo woo! That doesn't even make sense. Something in the sky, a brain flow, a brain flow? I don't even know what that is. Some, let me just check the bag. He put something in the sky, did you know it? A rainbow, God put a beautiful rainbow in the sky as a promise to Noah that he would never flood the world again. And that promise, you guys, it extends to you and me today. It wasn't just for Noah and his sons and daughters-in-law. That promise extends to you and me today. The promise that God will never flood the world again is the promise of the rainbow. Isn't that something? And I know it's true because the Bible tells me so. God promised Noah that he would keep him safe, and he did. God keeps his promises. Remember, the Lord is faithful to all his promises. That's what it says in the Psalms. You know, he keeps promises to us, too. Let's play a quick little opposites game, okay? Um, do thumbs down like this for the wrong answer. And then when I give you the right answer, you switch them to thumbs up, okay? Promises of God, okay. Does God promise to ignore us? No. He promises to take care of us and love us. Oh, that's the next one. Does God promise to hate us? No. He promises to love us. Right? Does God say that he will abandon us? No way. What about be with us? Yep, that's the opposite. And it's what he does. He is with us. Does he say he will hold a grudge when we do something wrong? Ooh, that'd be bad. <laughs> Fortunately, God promises the opposite. He promises to forgive us when we've done wrong and say we're sorry. Does God promise to make us weak? No. God promises to help us be strong. That's the opposite of being weak. God promises to help us be strong. Well, I'm going to have to be strong because uh, I brought a puppet friend today. It's uh, my old buddy, buddy Wizard Wacky. 
If you know about him, he doesn't understand about God, and he sometimes does the wrong things, but give me strength because I keep trying to convince him to learn more about God. Let me go get him. I'll be right back. Hey, everybody. I'm here with my friend, the wizard. Oh, is that the children out there? Hello, children. Um, why aren't you waving? Hey, what have you got behind your back? Don't you trust me? Well, I was talking to the kids about people who are trustworthy, and I'm sad to say, you have not always been among them, wizard. <laughs> well, this time, I have something to show you, that's all. I'd like to see it. Ta-da! It's a purple crayon. <laughs> no, this isn't just any purple crayon. This is a lucky purple crayon. Hmm. Lucky? What do you mean? Well, I saved up lots of money and I spent it on eBay to purchase this. It is a lucky purple crayon that will grant wishes. Grant wishes? Mm hmm. Have you tried it? How's that working out for you? <laughs> no, I haven't tried it yet. I wanted to do it for the children. Are you ready to be amazed? Hmm? <laughs> I hope so. I'm sure this will be amazing. Let's see it. H how do you get a purple crayon to grant you a wish? Oh, well, I just say, <coughs> purple crayon from the box. I like you more than stinky socks. I want a wish, so I'll give it a go. Give me a bag of marshmallows! Ha! Uh, where are they? Where are my marshmallows? Did you take them? I don't see them any. Did they appear? Uh, wizard, <laughs> I'm afraid it didn't work. What? I spent money on this. Uh, is eBay all just a scam? Well, a lucky crayon that grants wishes is certainly a scam. I don't think, I don't, I don't think you got a good deal there. Oh, this is so discouraging. Uh, I guess you just can't trust anyone. Oh, well, that's not true. Hmm? You can trust God. Wait, what? What do you mean? Uh, you know, God, the creator of the universe, the one who loves us all and cares for us, we can trust him. He is faithful to all of his promises to us, promises to take care of us and not to, um, scam us. Mm. Fine, maybe I should learn more about this God you're talking about. That would be great. You totally should. What am I going to do about this? And, oh, oh, and what am I going to do about the build your own real jet airplane kit I ordered? Oh, oh boy, maybe you can cancel that order. Oh, maybe, oh, oh, I have an idea. What if, what if, when it arrives, I simply sell the kit to my brother Abercrombie? He's so gullible. He'll believe anything. Wizard, you should not sell a junk product to your brother. That isn't the right thing to do. That would just be tacky. What did you say? I said it would be tacky. Ow! What was that for? I just did what you told me to. How? What are you talking about? Didn't you say, smack me? So I did. I said tacky. Tacky, that means not cool. You know, kind of like what you just did. Oh, tacky, not smack me. Oh, so sorry. Yeah, I'm never sure you're sorry. Anyway, say goodbye to the kids. We need to pray. Goodbye, children. Oh, that 
that guy. That wizard. I never know what I'm going to get from him. But I do know it might take some prayer. He's going to take a lot of prayer. Will you pray with me right now? You can think these words in your heart as I say them. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for being faithful to your promises to us. Just as you were faithful to Noah and kept him safe, you are the one who keeps us safe. You love us and care for us every day. Thank you, Lord, for being so faithful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's it for me this time. I'll see you next time, everybody. Bye.